With Coach Larry Wagstaff, the wrestling season is quickly approaching regional time, but we got a little bit of time before that. This past weekend, you were at the Ronthon, and you end up taking fourth with how many teams there and the looks that you got. How did you come away feeling with that performance? At the Ronthon, there was 43 teams there. Pretty much every team in the state was there that uh, that has a wrestling program, so it's kind of a, a huge huge deal in the state of Wyoming to to be able to go in that tournament and to place or to you know to be competitive in it. It's uh, a lot harder than our state tournament will be as far as the number of kids there and, and uh, level of wrestling. The teams that placed ahead of you, were there any that you thought, man, we could have gotten them if this goes right or that goes right? If things would have went right and if we could have had some of our injured kids with us, we could have went as high as second in this tournament the way we wrestled this weekend. So, Out of the people that were able to go, performances that impressed you? We, uh, of the 14 weights, we put kids in 10 of the weights. So we, had, we actually went in there with four weights being open, and uh, all of our seniors performed real well. Um, all of them ended up placing the scepter, I think, one. And he went out in uh, one round before the placement round. So if they would have placed eight, he would have placed. So they all wrestled real well. So We haven't had a chance to talk about the Green River duel that uh, happened here on Wednesday. It ended up being a win for Green River. I was uh, impressed with it, win or loss, uh, how your team came out and fought against a group of guys that's very strong. Where was your evaluation on that for senior night? Well, if you look at that duel, um, the team score doesn't look good, but the individual battles were, were very good. And if you, you look at the number of matches they won compared to the number of matches we won, they're very similar. Just that we had some kids end up getting pinned where we, the matches we won, we won by decision. So team-wise, it doesn't look good. But our kids battled well. Um, that's a good program. It's uh, one of the better programs in the state. It's probably the, the team in the 4A that, that has got the edge right now is winning the state title. So it was a good to wrestle good kids like that. And we came back and got to wrestle some of those same kids in our tournament up there in Nerveton and did well against them as well. So, What do you expect out of the Star Valley duel this week? Star Valley is probably, not probably, they are the best team in the state right now. They uh, wrestled Green River two weeks ago, and that result was similar to us in Green River only Star Valley won it uh, with Star Valley being allowed to win matches. Green River Belgium win ma- matches, but pins and whatnot make Star Valley dominant. And then you look at um, at uh, River and determine Star Valley was the one team out there far away from everybody else. So First Green River, the duel, then you go to the Ronthon, and then you finish up with Star Valley. That's really a strong schedule putting your kids into the regional tournament, it seems. Our old schedule is strong when you look at it. I mean, we've wrestled the uh, number two team in, uh, in uh, Nevada. We've wrestled the, the number one team in uh, Utah, plus Green River Star Valley. Um, we wrestled pretty tough schedule all through the year. So. Didn't know a whole lot of these guys' names. I knew some of them coming in, but it, this classes, you graduated maybe some kids that got a, a more attention than others. But it seems that this year, it's this team has performed day in and day out at these tournaments as strong as I've ever seen. Yes, uh, if you can remember, right, we were fourth in our in our tournament. Uh, everybody beat us was a, a state championship team or a second place team. We go to Harriman, we win that. Then we go to um, Idaho Falls and end up being uh, yeah, placing good there. We'd went higher for us Zach when he got hurt. So everything we've been in this year, we've been in it. We, uh, you know, in our conference, go we beat Rock Springs. It's supposed to be a team that's going to pound us. We beat Natrona. They're supposed to pound us. Kelly Walsh got us by a few points. But um, these kids always battle. They've always battled for the last four years. Uh, they've been a good group. They push each other, and, and they care about each other. So We'll be back to talk about the regional look ahead next week. But before we do that, anything else to add before we let you go? We just appreciate you and, uh, you know, the support you give us and, you know, some airtime to promote our sport and promote these kids there. They're great kids and they work hard and they need that. So, Well, that was on evidence last week on senior night. So thank you very much and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you.